He's often dismissed as a serious candidate in the GOP presidential race. But the nation is starting to take notice of another Texan who's been trying for the White House for a long time. Congressman Ron Paul is now third in a recent CNN or RC poll with 13% support. He trails frontrunner Governor Rick Perry at 32%, Mitt Romney at 21%. KXA and political reporter Josh Hinkle takes a closer look at Ron Paul's rise. That's right, Robert. It seems like everyone's talking about Governor Rick Perry, but unlike Perry, when it comes to the presidential race, Ron Paul is no stranger. He ran in 1988 as a libertarian, and this time uh, is his second time to run as a Republican. He also ran in 2008. This season is his closest shot yet. Over the weekend, he racked up a first place win in the California Strip draw poll with nearly 45 percent. And take a look at this. Not only did he finish first in the California straw poll, but also won in New Hampshire, not to mention second in Iowa and third in Maryland. But political insiders say those numbers don't always translate to the national polls, since he's usually trailing Perry and Romney and sometimes some other Republicans as well. Still, those insiders say Paul's biggest plus is the fact that since first running more than two decades ago, he's not really wavered on his position. Unlike some of the other candidates, we have uh, strayed away from uh, a good pro American foreign policy. I think we have strayed from a good sound monetary policy designed in the Constitution, and we certainly haven't followed good fiscal policy. Political reports Romney isn't really focusing on straw polls this time around, most likely to avoid a stigma when he loses like he did in Iowa. And even Perry supporters apparently didn't have much of a presence this weekend in California either. In the studio, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News.